guys, welcome back to Very Terrain Hunting. It's been a minute since we've posted, but uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I much appreciate it. So today we are out here at my favorite public area for hunting. So let's back up five years ago. I left a stand out here, right out there, okay? It's probably about 500 yards in the tree line. Now I did not mark it or lock it. I left it out there for a week and a half and I came back and it was gone. Fast forward to last season. I left another stand out here. So now I'm out here today to see if it's still there. The only difference is this time I locked it and I marked it with my conservation number, my name, and the things I was supposed to that's been put forth by my state. So let's go take a look, shall we? spot um let's see what, what if it's there uh walk this whole way and uh we're gonna go in here this is just along this uh field here and uh, we're gonna cut into the woods here it's a high traffic area that's why i put it here in the first place uh so let's uh, see what's going on here let's see what's going on there's the ladder stand there's stuff in there Saying that, my stand should be the viola. It's there. Let's see what kind of condition we're in here. Not bad, huh? Got it marked. Here we are. Got it marked in a couple places just in case. Spider webs to the face. Guys, let's get this bad boy out of the woods and uh, get back to the truck. Now we have to deal with the spiders. It's there. As you can imagine, the lock that sat out here basically all winter long in the first part of the spring, well, all the spring and through summer, almost an entire year's worth of the lock was gonna be kind of rusty. Um, it was kind of hard to get it out. I poured some water down where the lock is, but in all reality, um, in all reality, this performed really well. I let it stay out all year. The brand is called Muddy. Uh, great lock, not really rusted there. This was a little janky up in here, so you can see in there. And it's just dirty a little, so you can expect that. Got it out. It's been great. I've used it a bunch of times, including the entire year it was sitting out here in the weather. So uh, the next thing we're really going to do is check out all of this nastiness. Imagine the spiders and stuff that are in there. So uh, we'll get that out. We'll get it all together. My ropes, my tie downs, everything's still. All right, we're back, and so we have it. We have everything that we left out there. The only thing that I'm really concerned about, and another comment I have, the only thing I'm concerned about, I wanna know from you really the truth here. I uh, haven't researched it, I'm not for sure, but it was kind of rusty in some spots, and I'm wondering if that has degraded the strength of the climber, and you want those things to be strong and sound because, well, you don't wanna fall out of the tree and uh, you want to depend on your gear. So has anybody else left their stuff out on private property that they, they, you know, year over year, it's gotten a little rusty. 
Are you concerned or do you think it degrades the strength of the actual climber? So let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate that. Also, the other thing too is um, I'm not sponsored by Muddy, the lock company that I used to you know, lock it to the tree. It did an excellent job. It wasn't rusted. It uh, didn't get chewed through. Nobody either found it or cut it, but uh, it was a little hard getting the key into, as you can imagine, being out for eight months or so. Um, so we got the key in there and we got it unlocked. So I do want to give a shout out to Muddy Locks. Um, your stuff worked well and it saved probably my climber. So thank you so much. As far as this property is concerned, I don't think we're gonna come back here because uh, my neighbor just opened up 400 acres of prime farmland in Missouri. And once that stuff is cut, I don't think I'm gonna go out right away at September 15th, uh, just because of the bugs I experienced a lot. So um, I'm gonna start hunting out there and uh, we're going to take you out there. If you haven't already, subscribe over to my Very Train fishing channel. If that's you, I uh, fish in the MLF, BLF, um, next year will be the, uh, let's see, let's see, Toyota series. I'll probably do a few of those. Um, I'm in 108th place now and uh, top 45 going into this last event at the end of September is um, going to make or break it. So if fishing's your thing, if uh, there's some things that you want to see over there, uh, please, I'll link it somewhere, uh, anywhere on here that you can just do it. Or I'll leave it in the description. That's even better. So Guys, thanks so much. Uh, keep shooting. If you haven't been shooting all summer, please do so and get savvy again. Get your reps in before the season starts. You owe it to the animal. You owe it to yourself to be responsible and make a humane kill. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you very soon. All right. Bye-bye.